Hi everybody, this is Wendy with Pretty Cool, and I'm here today with my March Birchbox review. Uh, Birchbox is a monthly subscription that sends you some samples, usually about five samples of beauty products every month. If you sign up with them, you fill out a great big survey so that they send you things that are pertinent to you. I've been receiving it for about seven months now, and so far it's worked pretty well for me. And as always, I will start with the sample that I liked the least and work my way up to the sample that I liked the most. So, here we go. This is the Juara, J-U-A-R-A. -A. I'm probably not saying that correctly at all. It's a Radiance Enzyme Scrub. This is the first sample I received from Birchbox and probably the first beauty product that I ever had a negative reaction to as far as my skin. I used it once and I ended up with a red, bumpy, hot rash all over my face. I'm thinking I must have been allergic to an ingredient in the product. It took about a week for my face to fully recover. so. Needless to say, I won't be using this again, and as soon as I'm done with this video, it's probably going in the trash. All right, the next item is a Color and Smudge Shadow Crayon in Aspen Pie by Trestique. It has a little cover on it, and then you roll it up, and I'll put some on my hand. So there's the color. I like this. I like the smudging aspect. It's a little bit dark and a little bit more green than something that I would wear on a daily basis, but it's nice if you have an outfit that you want to match that color to or maybe for a more special occasion. I am wearing it right now for the video, but this will probably go in the bin. I'll keep it, but probably is more of a special occasion type color. All right, the next item is an anti-aging city sunscreen serum SPF 30 by Supergoop. I love the name of that company. I've received a couple of samples from them so far and I've liked everything I've received from them so far. This is just a light serum. Uh, I've been using it as my daily moisturizer, but it's a little bit thin for that. So normally I would probably use this just under my makeup when I do wear makeup as a just to kind of prepare my face and get some extra SPF on there. All right, the next item is this little packet right here. It's a Curl Keeper Gel by Curly Hair Solutions. I do have naturally curly hair. If I had let my hair dry by itself today, I get what I call those Nellie Olsen ringlets. So anything that helps keep my curls under control is great. I did use this one this morning before I blow dried my hair and we've been out at an event here on Fort MacArthur for about an hour or so it did pretty good in keeping the winds blowing pretty well out there so it put, did a pretty good job of keeping things tamed and under control all right finally my favorite product this month this is Staniac in Beauty Queen by the Balm Cosmetics I've never used anything like this before because look at it. Look how hot pink it looks. And I was a little concerned, but I read a description about it on the Birchbox site. And really what you do is you, you can use this as cheek and lip color, which I am wearing it right now. You dab it on, look how bright that looks. But then you start blending it in and it kind of just reacts with your own skin to just kind of give you a little bit of a glow. So see how nicely that blend in with my skin and it's really not this bright pink at all. And it does the same on your lips. You can hardly tell that I put anything on there. So that was really neat. I never used a stain before, so that was fun to try. Okay, that was my March Birch Box. Uh, just one really awful thing in it for me. I'm sure others were just fine with that, but again, I must have been allergic. Everything else I enjoyed, and can't wait to get my next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.